Hey fitness friends, what's happening? This is Charlie DeFazio here bringing you a little ab series on a 10 minute blast. Get the day going, tighten the midsection up, make you look slim, lean and mean, and make you feel pretty good inside, okay? So, core, 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 here we go. 10 minutes and you're free. So let's start with this. Sit on something soft, a mat or whatever, okay? Hands at the sides, you wanna keep the chest up, you wanna keep the back straight. And we're gonna warm up the core right now. Here we go. Knees in, extend out. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Now there's very little movement in the upper body here. Right? As you can see, I'm drawing the knees up toward my midsection. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. You might feel a little tightness in the hip flexors. That's okay. That's normal. <sighs> All right, let's give it five more. Five, four, breathe. Three, two, one. All right, relax a little, shake out the legs a little if you need to. Now there's a variation of that, okay? It's a little more challenging. It requires a little bit more balance. It engages more core because of that. Here we go. Hands free. You have to find a nice comfortable positioning in your sitting bone area. You gotta lean back a little, you're engaging the core just by doing that. But once you bring this in like this, you're driving the knees in, stabilizing, using the upper body core strength and everything in between. So here we go. Seven, six, little pause here and then out. Four, three, two, one more. Hold it in. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Good. A little stretch. Try to get the front of the body nice and loose. And we roll with the core. So here's what we do now. Targeting on the obliques. So find a nice comfortable position. Elbow under the shoulder. That's extremely important. Now option number one, bottom knee down. And that's okay to do that. Option number two, stagger the feet. Reach up. Dip the hip, push the hip toward the ceiling, or the sky in this case. Whew. Ooh, that's good. Dip, and then push, okay? And I want you to think about pushing and pulling with both sides of the waistline. Eight, seven, six, five. Elbow directly under the shoulder, remember that. Four. We'll pause at the top. Three. Right there. Right there. One more. Two. One more. Up, 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 up. Pause. Pause. Good. All right. Take it out. Shake it out a little bit. Might get a little tight up here and here. That's okay. If you need a little extra padding, that's okay to do that. Let's hit the other side. All right. Position on. Stacking the hips. Very important as well. You don't want to roll forward, you don't want to roll back. Let's do it. From here, eight, seven. Driving the forearm into the mat. Six, a little higher, try to go a little higher. Five, I'm gonna show you something right now, watch this. I think I'm at the top, but I'm really not. I had another inch or two, okay? Makes all the difference in the world. Give me four from here. Four. Breathing. Three. Breathing. Two. Last one. Hold it up. Push it up, push it up, push it up. And just while you're here, if you can reach down, I want you to tap that. It's like rock, right? Because that's what happens when you do those side hovers. The obliques have to engage. Tightens you up. Gives you that strong waistline. That lean, mean look that we're all looking for. Let's face it. Okay? All right. Lower back, which happens to be part of your core. So you see what we're doing here? Front, sides. Now we're going to the middle back, lower back. Check it out. Down on the mat. Feet down. I keep them down. Some people keep them up. That's your choice. Whatever's more comfortable for you. All right. Hands at the temples. Fingers at the temples. Lift. Now I'm engaged the whole time. I could go all the way down. But I'm not choosing to hover. 
can feel the low back. If I squeeze at the top, you feel the glutes big time. If you engage those and flex those, a little harder, arms out. Four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, stretch it out for a second. A couple deep breaths, you're doing great. You see that, 10 minutes, you're not done yet, but a short little 10 minute burst can get you out with full confidence for the rest of the day. It's psychological and it's physical. So let's keep going. How are we doing on time? Pretty good. Got four minutes, all right? Low back flat. It's called a cross crawl. It's also called the bicycle crunch. It's also called the twisting crunch. You choose, really doesn't matter. As long as you realize you're twisting over the bent leg. Opposite shoulder to the outside of the bent leg. Opposite leg extends. Here we go. There's an option for this. If you have a low back issue, you can tap. Okay? You choose. Feels good, huh? Now I'm trying to turn a little wider here. Because it's a longer set. So wide. Wide. And again, it doesn't really help you to turn the elbow. You have to think about turning the shoulder, which engages the abs and core a lot more. Oh yeah, this is good. Let's go eight, seven, six. Try to keep the upper back up. Four, three, two, one. Boom, roll up. Okay, feeling good? Feeling tight here? You should be. Creates that strong feeling, that powerful, powerful midsection, which is the control center of the body. It's your powerhouse. Okay, let's do a couple more. Hand overhead, wrist under the shoulder, and knee to elbow. Okay, you go out long, you crunch in tight to the side. Okay, give me eight. Eight. Seven. Oh yeah, six. Want that accordion effect right here. You want to crush the muscles right on the side of your body, right there. Whew. Little pause at the top. And if you can't touch the knee to the elbow, don't worry about that yet. All right, you'll get there. If this is all you can do, then that's a good start. Give me three, give me three. Three, two, one. Flip it. Take it over to the other side. We're doing great. Two minutes left in this workout. Okay. Reach over. Boom. 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 That little pause is gold, my friends. Because that little pause is what chisels up the muscles. Okay. Creates that lean muscular physique we all want and we all love. And this little 10 minute burst is a good start to that. Give me four. Give me four from here. Four. Three. Oh, yes, yeah, is good. Two. Last one. Hold this one up. Okay, beautiful. Stretch it out. One more thing. A little ab cardio blast to get you on your way. All right? Hope you're enjoying the 10-minute series. Last one. Watch. Hands under the shoulders, twisting mountain climber. So the knees go diagonal under the body toward the opposite elbow. Ready? Set. Let's go. This is it for today. Now, if you need to step, you can step. That's okay to do that. But if you feel good, drive the knees forward. Give me 20 seconds. You choose your speed, though. You choose your speed. You want to slow down? You can slow down. You want to speed up? Go for it. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, keep your back straight, five, abs in, four, three, two, boom. All right, breathe. Let's calm it down a little. See, now I feel the heart rate up. Heart rate's up. Midsection is tight. I feel like I got a nice little pump here. Stretching out the abs. Stretching out the shoulders a little bit. and getting about your day. This is Charlie DeFazio.
stay fit. I see you again real soon, all right?